Would you say that policy's probably been the most disruptive to you, Russell? I'm hearing a lot of blowback from that one. Yeah, I would say of the reforms, that is the biggest. It's not unrealistic to expect some sort of staffing mandate to exist in aged care. But the thing is that with the registered nursing aspect in particular, it's actually driving counterproductive outcomes. To give you an example, you know, in our homes, we might have run a framework of something like 15 or 20 minutes of RN, and then an additional component of ENs, similarly, maybe another 20 minutes of ENs. And so you are getting, in terms of a registered workforce, which combines both RN and EN, you are getting 40 minutes, but they are levels of worker who have qualifications commensurate with the work that they've been asked to do, fitting workers to the demands. Whereas now they've just created this arbitrary number of 40 minutes of RNs. And so one, you can't get 40 minutes of RNs. Well, not the sector globally. Individual homes may be achieving it, but they're doing it at the expense of a different home. Or they're overbidding and paying uncommercial, unsustainable rates for it. And two, you're employing RNs to do work that not necessarily should sit with RNs. And then thirdly, what happens to all the ENs? They go on the breadline because they haven't got jobs anymore. I've written multiple times to the minister during the implementation of the period in the lead up, and they will reply with statements like, Ian still have a valuable role in the aged care workforce. I agree they do, but the way the arbitrary staffing structure is modeled is that a provider who does not achieve 40 minutes of RN labor is essentially non-compliant. So, by financial imperative, they have to cut their EN minutes to achieve the RN minutes because you're not going to duplicate. You're not going to put on 40 RN minutes and then employ ENs as well. That would be insane. This is the kind of double think that the government engages in at times. You know, that they want you to do two things simultaneously, which would result in, in enormous waste.